So in this video, I'm going to download and install the Linux Mint 21.3 in a desktop computer. So I'm going to download the Cinnamon Edition. I'll click on download. This is the most popular version. There's also the Mate version or the M-A-T-E edition. There's also XFCE edition. So I'll click on download. So here it tells you about the size of the ISO file installation guide. And these are the download mirrors. So we have a whole list of mirrors here. I'm going to choose the USA, the first option. And it's downloading the ISO file. So I'm going to be using Etcher to create the bootable USB drive. And this is the Etcher website. I'm going to download the .exe file. So this is the ISO file and this is the Etcher .exe file. I'm going to open Etcher. I'm going to click flash from file. I'm going to choose the ISO file. Click open. So it already detected the USB drive. I'm going to click on flash and it's creating the USB bootable drive. So the bootable USB drive was created. It's complete. So now I'm going to take this bootable USB drive and boot up the desktop computer. So I'm going to choose the first option, that Linux Mint, Cinnamon 64-bit. There's also compatibility mode. I'll select the first option, hit enter. Okay, so this is the desktop. So I'm going to click on this icon, install Linux Mint. So this is the install menu, and this is the welcome page. So you have to choose your language here. I'm going to leave it as English, click continue. This is the keyboard layout. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to click continue. So if you have Wi-Fi, you can connect to your Wi-Fi here. I'm going to select, I don't want to connect to a Wi-Fi right now. Click continue. So the desktop computer that I install in Linux Mint in is already connected via Ethernet cable. So this is Multimedia Codex. I have to check this box if I want to install Multimedia Codex. And this is required to play some video formats and to properly render some websites. So I'm going to check it, click continue. So this is the installation type. So the first option here is to erase the entire disk and install Linux Mint. There's also advanced features and you have these two options here. There's also something else you can select and this is if you want to partition this manually. So I'm going to select the first option, erase the entire disk. I click install now. So it gives you a warning here. This will destroy all data on any partition on the disk. So I'll click continue. So you have to choose where you locate it. So it already detected where I'm located in New York. I'll click continue. Here you have to type in a username, a name, a computer name, and a password. So I'm going to type name as John. So the computer name, I'm going to type Dell. Password, I'm just going to type Dell also. So there are two options here, login automatically or require my password to log in. I'm going to choose require my password to log in. And there's a next option here, encrypt my home folder. I'm going to leave this blank, click continue. So it's installing the Linux Mint. So installation is complete. I just have to restart the computer. So I'm going to remove the USB drive and click restart. I'll hit enter on the keyboard. So here after logging in, I'll type the password. So this is a welcome to Linux Mint screen. You can check this box under here. If you don't want to show this dialog box every time you start up your computer, I'm going to uncheck it. I'll close this. So I'm going to right click the desktop. I'm going to change the desktop background. So there are all of these options here. So there are more desktop wallpapers in this new version of Linux Mint. So I'm going to choose this as my background wallpaper. So this is the start menu here. Now you can expand this start menu here. So this is the power button where you can shut down. So this is the logout icon and this is the lock screen. Click on this to lock your screen. So on the start menu, the are the files folder. So I click on that, you get the basic folders, home desktop documents, music, pictures. There's also file system here. You can see the file system folders. So this is the terminal app. 
This is the system settings. So in the system settings folder, there's appearance, there's preferences here. There's hardware where you can configure Bluetooth power management. You can configure printers, the wireless. You can configure the mouse settings, keyboard settings. This is the administration section. There's driver manager. There's a firewall. So you can configure rules. There's report, log. So this is the software manager icon. So this is the featured section. These are the categories. So you can download any one of these apps. And there's a search bar here. So for example, I can type Chrome to install. And this is Google Chrome. I'll install it with continue and it's installing. I click launch, click OK. So on the all application, these are a list of all the applications that are installed with this Linux Mint. And you can configure any one of these. There's Bluetooth manager. You can change the background of the desktop. There's a calculator. There's calendar. And you can create events. There's week, month, year. There's advanced network configuration, and you can configure your network settings here. So you can configure firewall configuration. You just have to type the password, and you can configure your firewall settings here. So on the all applications, so if you want to watch TV on your computer, you can choose this app, which is in Linux Mint. It's called Hypnotix. And it's free TV. I'm going to click on TV channels. And these are lists of countries that you can choose to view TV. So for example, I'm going to choose the USA. And these are the channels that are available. I'll click on Bloomberg channel. So there's also free movies. I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to click on this. So there's USA, Italy. I'm going to click on this one, movies. And you can choose some of these categories. So in the Hypnotic site also, you can create a new custom channel. Just click on the plus icon, and here you can type the name, the URL, the logo URL. You can also click on the gear icon here. And there's playback, there's network, and there's YouTube. And you can select update from GitHub. So there's a lot of applications, and if you need to search for a particular app, you just have to type it here in the search section. So there's accessories, and these are the apps that are listed in accessories. There's the USB image writer. So with this USB image writer, I can make a bootable USB drives. I just have to browse for the ISO file here, select the USB stick, and click write. There's text editor. So this is the graphics. There's document scanner, drawing, pic. So on the internet, there's the Firefox, this is Google Chrome, XChat. So this is Thunderbird Mail where you can configure your email using this app. And under Office, LibreOffice is installed by default. There's sound and video. And these are the apps that you can use to play audio and video. So this is a celluloid app and you can play videos, for example, MP4. This is a Hypnotix app. The rhythm box. So under the administration, these are a list of apps that are in the administration folder. There's users and groups. And here you can configure more users here. And you can make that user administrator or standard user. 
You can also change the picture here just by clicking on it. There's also groups. And you can add users to different groups here. This is the update manager. And I can apply security updates, software updates, or system snapshots. I'll click OK. And I can apply updates here. I'll click on printers and I can add printers. It already detected some of the printers in the network. And if I need to add printers, I just have to click on add and add my network printers. So this is preferences. So I can configure workspaces, windows styling. There's a system settings. I'll click on places and these are a list of folders. These are recent files. So if I need to search for an app, I just have to type it in here. I'll search for Google Chrome. I'll click on System Settings. And there's Appearance. There's Preferences here. I can configure those. There's Hardware. There's Administration. So on the lower right side, there's some icons here. There's a clock, the speaker icon where I can control the volume. There's the printer icon. There's also the Updates Manager system report there's also a bluetooth icon to configure bluetooth so i can also right click the desktop and create a new folder i can right click the folder and i have all these options can change the color of the folder by selecting the color i can also share this folder i can click on properties and there's basic i can set permissions there's emblems there's share so I'll right click the desktop again. I can create a new document. I can create a new launcher here. Add disklets. I can change the background again. I'll click on display settings. I can change the resolution here. I can click on customize. And this is the icon size. I can change it here. This is the layout, auto arrange. I can turn this off. This is direction, sort items by these are the options, name, size, type, date. And I can adjust the grid in space here. So on the Linux Mint website, for example, I downloaded the Cinnamon Edition. There's also a new features tab. And here you can read more about the new features that come with Linux Mint 21.3. This is the hypnotic features. This is the features about a wallpaper. So these are the other improvements. They are new wallpapers. So in this video, I installed the latest version of Linux Mint, which is 21.3 in a desktop computer. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.